1978, China was emerging from its cultural revolution as one of the world's poorest nations. Its revolutionary leader, Chairman Mao, had just died in 1976. And his ideological drive to enforce his brand of communism left the country's social and cultural institutions devastated and the economy in tatters. 88% of people were living in absolute poverty. China's economy was just 5% of the United States's, and its GDP per capita was the equivalent of Zambia's. Fast forward 40 years, and China is unrecognisable. It's the world's second biggest economy, with GDP per capita up 50-fold. 700 million people have been lifted out of poverty, and its share of the global economy has gone from 1.8% in 1978 to 18.2% in 2017. So how did one of the world's poorest countries become a global superpower in just four decades? The death of Mao Zedong in 1976 brought with it radical changes for the Chinese Communist Party and the nation. When Deng Xiaoping became a key player in China's leadership in 1978, he embarked on a reform initiative aimed at opening up the economically and politically isolated People's Republic of China. He helped establish formal diplomatic ties with the United States and began opening up China to the world. From the years 1949 to 1978, only 200,000 Chinese citizens had travelled overseas. In 2017 alone, Chinese citizens made 130 million overseas trips and 139 million foreigners journeyed to China. But most importantly, Deng Xiaoping radically shifted China's economy. Its four-decade-long economic boom was built on embracing capitalism and encouraging private business, in stark contrast to the poorly managed state-run enterprises led by Mao. As multinational companies flocked to China, it quickly became the world's manufacturing hub, and growth became, and still remains, the Chinese Communist Party's number one priority. Deng Xiaoping changed the face of China forever. His successes have maintained his push for growth and his mantra of socialism, but with Chinese characteristics. And now President Xi Jinping is embarking on his own raft of ambitious plans. His One Belt, One Road initiative hopes to create a global trade network with China at its center. And his increasingly bullish foreign policy could see him muscle out the United States as the key economic and military power in the Asia Pacific. 